Hey guys, it's me, Dana, and the Back to Hogwarts Cramathon 24-hour readathon has begun! So it is like 12.03 or something. I am already three minutes behind because I've done no reading yet, but I'm about to. I'm going to start, whoa, with Jack the Ripper because I really want to read this book, and my goal is to read for 24 hours straight, except for like my live show with Rhiannon that's happening at noon my time, but there's a good chance I'm going to fall asleep and I'm just gonna let myself fall asleep. So I'm gonna have an alarm set for maybe like 8.30 to 9 o'clock-ish. So I will be waking up then if I actually do fall asleep at some point, but I'm going to try to read this book starting now. I have not started this book yet, so I'm excited to see where it takes me. I've been watching everyone who's not on Pacific Standard Time starting their readathons, and I've been like waiting for like two hours for mine to start. So I was watching a movie with my younger sister and my brother, and then I was watching YouTube for that, the rest of the time, just waiting patiently and anxiously for this to start. So I'm gonna start reading because I really wanna read this book. I will probably not be doing a lot of me vlogging my reactions because that's a lot of vlog time and I only have like an hour of memory left on my memory card. So we'll just see how this vlog goes. Happy reading, everyone. So I have moved into my sister's bed because she is moving to college, so that means her bed is free and it's comfier than my bed, plus there's stuff on top of my bed. Anyways, I should just stop talking about that. I moved upstairs into my sister's bed because I'm getting very tired very quickly. I'm barely anywhere in here. I think I'm like three chapters in, but it's so good. So I'm gonna keep reading this. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be reading tonight though because I am really tired, so I'm just gonna read until I feel like I'm falling asleep and then I'm gonna put it down then I'll get up in the morning and I'll update you. If I get a second wind and I just have a ton of energy and I decide I can like finish this book tonight, I will keep updating you in that case, but I doubt that's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna fall asleep before that happens. So anyways, I'm gonna keep reading Stalking Jack the Ripper, but just know that I am reading and if you don't hear from me again tonight, I will update you in the morning with my page count. So yeah. I will maybe see you guys in a few seconds. I mean, you'll see me in a few seconds no matter what, but I might see you in a few seconds or it might literally be like six hours. <laughs> everyone it is like 9 15 my time and i woke up 15 minutes ago i made myself some coffee i brushed my teeth and now i'm going to get back to reading stalking jack the ripper i got not very far into this last night i'm 24 pages in i fell asleep really fast because i was really tired so now i'm going to read until about 11 when i'm going to get ready for my live show with rhiannon so i'm gonna get to it Hey guys, so I've decided to take a break from Stalking Jack the Ripper because I have to get ready for my live show that's happening in an hour. That means makeup, putting on like actual daytime clothes, and I have to clean up my floor because it is a literal mess and I will be doing the live show in here near my bookshelves. So yeah, if you want to see my floor, I have boxes from an unboxing I did. Those are books I am unhauling. I have random books everywhere that I like have not found spaces for yet. So it's kind of a mess, so I need to clear that out the best as possible. There's also my light that I turned on because otherwise 
the light in my room is like really warm and weird so I'll hopefully have those on for the live show as well that's why I look kind of ghostly but anyways I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna listen to my six of crows audiobook while I'm getting ready to count some more pages in there so yeah I'm about 100 pages into stalking Jack the Ripper I'm loving it so far I'm kind of sad that I have to put it down to get ready for this live show right now but I'm really excited about the live show too so anyways I'm gonna get ready and listen to my audiobook Woo! Live stream! There's Rhiannon in the corner! Oh. Okay, yeah. Anyways, that's what my screen looks like, but I'm super excited to start answering questions, which we should probably do. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna end my vlog now. Rhiannon just vlogged! Now I'm vlogging. We're in the live stream! So, we're just gonna start doing our questions right now from the Instagram post that we posted and you guys sent in questions and whatnot. I can't talk, but that's fine. Um, anyways, yeah, we're really excited to get into these questions. Hey guys, so I just finished my live show with Rhiannon and it was so, so fun, so we're probably gonna do one later on. It was actually incredible. I love talking to Rhiannon. She's super sweet and this is the first time we ever actually like did anything FaceTime related and I feel like it was like really cool because we've never actually talked like in physical person before so that was super fun so now that we're done I'm gonna create a thumbnail for that show because I hate when there isn't a thumbnail and then I'm gonna go finish stalking Jack the Ripper so yeah anyways it was super fun I'm so glad we decided to do that and yeah I'm excited to keep reading happy reading everyone Hey guys, so I successfully finished Stalking Jack the Ripper. This one was like 318 pages or so, so I got through them. I thought it was going to be more. I realized like midway through reading it that these pages have tons of words per page and this book is abnormally tall, so that means that there are less pages and it takes more time to read each page. So I probably could have read more pages within that time because it took me most of the day to read this. It's about 7 o'clock. But <laughs> Whoops, I didn't. So anyways, I've got down a little bit over 318 pages because I have listened to some of my Six of Crows audiobook as well. I think instead of going for Wonder Woman, because that also is a tall book with lots of words per page, I'm instead going to go with Invictus by Ryan Groudon because this is a normal sized book. And although it is long and I probably won't finish it today, it is an average normal sized book with not as many words per page as Stalking Jack the Ripper. So I feel like I will be able to power through more of these than I would be able to get through the Wonder Woman pages. I also just really want to savor Wonder Woman and I don't want to feel stressed about trying to read as many pages as possible. So yeah. Invictus is supposed to be like teenage Doctor Who meets Guardians of the Galaxy. So I feel like it's just gonna be an adrenaline rush and I'm just gonna love reading this and wanna not put it down. I do have to go to dinner with my neighbors, which was a recent development in my schedule. I did not know that was gonna happen. So I'm probably gonna have to socialize a bit at dinner instead of read at the dinner table. And that will hinder my reading like for today as well, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring my book, so I'll socialize a little bit and then hopefully keep reading at dinner and we'll see how that goes. I probably won't vlog too much while I'm there because I don't really vlog in front of my neighbor's family because, I don't know, I just don't. So anyways, I don't know, maybe I'll bring my camera, but I probably won't vlog. Anyways, so while I'm gone, I will be reading this, and then I will be eating my food, and then I'll hopefully be reading more of this, and then I will update you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. See you in a few seconds. Hey 
Okay guys, so it is 10 o'clock. I have two hours left of the readathon, so I'm just gonna try and get through as much of Invictus as possible. I will let you know how far I get towards the end or if I take any breaks or whatnot, so I'll just keep you updated. I'm super excited to see how far I can get because I really need to catch up on my page count. So two hours straight of reading, here we come. guys it is a little bit past midnight on august 19th and the back to hogwarts carabathon is a wrap see there's my tripod right there anyways um i ended up falling asleep during my last reading sprint of reading invictus so i only ended up getting 44 pages into this although i'm really enjoying it so far i'm sad that i fell asleep i'm just like really tired but um my total page count is like 44 pages for Invictus, and then 318 pages for Stalking Jack the Ripper, and then I did read, well, ugh, I did read 20 pages of Six of Crows on my audiobook, so that total is 382 pages for the day. I thought I would be able to read more, but I mean, I guess like Stalking Jack the Ripper and Six of Crows are very large books, so they have like a lot of words per page and really abnormally large pages. So that could be why I didn't read as much or as many pages as I thought I would, but that's okay. I did get pretty far into Invictus for how much I slept during that last two hours. Anyways, it's really good, but I'm really tired, so I think I'm gonna wrap this up and go to bed. It was really fun. We really enjoyed hosting this readathon, and definitely stay tuned for more. Thank you for following me on my readathon journey. It was super, super fun, and I will see you next time with another one soon because reading vlogs are super fun to do. So have a great night, happy reading, and thanks for watching. Bye!